Hey, it's Mike here, and today, Miley Cyrus, by popular request, I'm responding to her no longer being vegan and eating fish for brain health, while also making some myths about fat. She's making myths, so we're gonna debunk the myths. And Don't tell that to the vegans, they'll come for you. That's They're gonna come for me, but that's okay. <laughs> I think that I was, at one point, pretty malnutrition. This is why I try to not put too much stock in celebrities, because they're people, but let's just get going. Let's get right into it. First of all, Miley Cyrus, of course, had to go on Joe Rogan and say this. She said that, you know, she's had brain issues her whole life since being sort of hit in the head on the back of a dirt bike that her dad was driving, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh <laughs> Someone cut my brakes, right, on my brain, and I have to take all the things, omega, I, I've been, was vegan for a very long time, and I've had to introduce fish and omegas into my life because my brain wasn't functioning properly. But she sort of said she was like malnourished, and in particular, she wasn't getting enough healthy fat, so she had to reluctantly eat fish, which she said she cried while well, she did. It is very likely that she got the idea in her head that the only way that she can get long chain omega-3 fatty acids is by eating fish. I don't know who told it to her. Maybe it was her ex-boyfriend, husband, fiance, I don't know, uh, who also quit a vegan diet. But that means that we're talking about EPA and DHA once again. Quick refresher, the short chain omega-3 ALA is in plants and our body extends those chains into the long chain omega-3s, EPA and DHA. The question is whether or not we convert an ideal amount of DHA, and this is a hot debate. And this is where the myth becomes debunked instantly. And that is the simple fact that fish do not make these fatty acids themselves. They get them from algae. So just like how B12 is not made by animals, it is made by bacteria. DHA and EPA are made by algae, eaten by the fish, and then people eat them in the fish. So there needs to be no fish in the middle. See that? You understand? You can just eat directly from the algae and you don't have to kill a sentient animal and eat that animal. And she's also eating fish eggs, which in my opinion is a thousand times more gross than a little algae oil <laughs> capsule. And I wanna emphasize a sentient point because she's publicly said that a major motivator for her to go vegan and love animals was because she had a fish that she said was really smart. So she already knows that. Because I had a fish that was highly intelligent. When I would come through the door, and I'm also highly stoned, but I would come through the door and this blowfish would go to the side and get excited. And he really knew who I was, he really got excited when I was home. And one day I ran into, uh, you know, I went to a sushi restaurant with a few of my friends and they were serving blowfish. And I thought, you know, they, this is an intelligent animal. And again, she says that she feels really bad eating these fish. So guess what, Miley, you just don't have to eat these fish. There is no good fat that is in these fish that you cannot get on a vegan diet. You know, in a way that doesn't eat dead animals or harm animals like that, come on. Unfortunately, I have to say this is another case of a meat-eating partner, I'm not sure the timeline here, but a generally meat-eating partner taking somebody who's vegan and sort of convincing them not to be vegan. I don't know if he like slowly was like, hey, you're not getting any of those healthy fats or you're not getting enough healthy fats. Who really knows? This is total speculation, but it it maps right into the phonolytic studies and the previous ex-vegan cases that we see. She also made a comment that I think is a dangerous path to go down. And that is that she has like a little animal sanctuary with 22 animals so that she's doing enough for the animals or sort of all that she needs to do for the animals. But Give home. I have 22 animals on my farm in Nashville. I've got 22 in my house in Calabasas, like I'm doing what I need to do for the animals, okay? okay? But if we're just looking at this mathematically, these are rough numbers, but we're talking about about 7,000 animal deaths over the lifetime of meat eater, 4,500 of those are fish. So she will probably pass that 44 number pretty soon. I mean, if you're counting the eggs, oh my God. And if she continues on that path, we're talking about, you know, maybe 3,000 fish over the course of her remaining life, if, if all goes well for her. So I just hope that she can open her mind up to those scientific facts, that she just does not require fish to survive and be healthy and have a clear brain. I mean, I would like to think that my brain is pretty clear. It's clearer than I think it ever was when I was eating meat. And I simply just, probably not regularly enough, take DHA. And DHA is getting easier to take. I didn't know this, but as Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan mentioned, they now have these DHA smoothies. I just wanna to prove to Miley and Joe and the world that I'm not lying here. Here's a completely vegan source of omega-3, all DHA. A lot of people say yeah, ALA is not good enough, it's harder to convert. Well, here is DHA, it's from algae, and it's from a Canadian company called Algorithm DHA. And this is to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich. This is peanut butter, basically, made out of algae. And one serving of this gives you 400 milligrams of omega-3 DHA. You don't need to eat a fish. It's also in ripple milk. I wish they would put more in there and it's added to various plant milks in the same way that it is added to cow's milk. And if people in general are concerned about, hey, you know, going on a vegan diet and, and it's so unnatural or risky that people aren't getting this fish DHA or that they 
they have to take these supplements. Well, look into the Adventist vegetarians who are often described as the longest living formerly described population. Describe, describe. They weren't getting any long chain omegas from fish. That doesn't mean they wouldn't have been healthier if they were, but it means they were doing pretty dang well not eating fish. And a lot of populations around the earth have done pretty dang well not eating fish. But that doesn't even matter because you can get the best of both worlds. So I think you guys pretty much get it. If it's all too late for Miley, then hopefully we can at least snub this myth that you have to be eating fish to get these certain fats that are just available in algae. It's completely scientifically inaccurate. So let me know down below what you think of all this. Um, I think Miley, <laughs> listening to her, uh, there's a lot of other things that could have been going on uh, besides her diet. And it's also clear that she tried to make a lifestyle switch to be healthier too. So who knows what actually affected what in terms of her brain clarity. But that's it again for today. So feel free to like and subscribe and let me know if you like this shorter video. All right, see you in the next one.